What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are sharing our toy organization. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know that we are actually turning our dining room into a playroom for Colton. So I just wanted to show you guys what we've been working with for the last few months before we actually transition everything over into our dining room into like a real toy room. So. So our current situation is just a corner of our living room. If you guys have ever seen my um, cleaning videos, you guys will know that it's just um, these two bottom shelves of a book DVD shelf that we have in our living room. Um, and then this little toy mat, it's a little Fisher Price Little People toy mat, and then some toys. So I'll just kind of get into what we've been working with. So I got these bins at uh, Walmart and they're actually smaller than the Ikea ones that will fit um, like the what is the Calyx organization so uh, you guys will see that in a minute Colton has the Calyx um, organization up in his room and so these are actually smaller than those bins so the, these won't fit in that so what I try to do when I clean up um, usually after Colton goes to bed um, is put them into a category so that when he is playing I can pull things out and he can play kind of in toy categories um, Obviously he doesn't really understand that right now. He's only nine months But eventually I want to work it up to where he knows where to put certain toys into certain bins so I kind of want to put like um, Pictures of what type of toy goes in which bin or whatever something like that um, once we move it over into the toy room so um, in this bin is like stuffed animal type things, so he has like the little loveys, um, there's some stuffed animals, there's this, um, little water toy that my sister got him for Christmas, um, just a few little, like, teddy bears and stuff. He has more upstairs, which you guys will see in a couple minutes, um, so we keep some of those down here. Just here in the middle are a few board books because he likes to look at the books, but I don't want him playing with like the actual paper books because he will like wreck them. So he brought down some of his board books and brought them down here. There's one of those Fisher Price pyramid stackers. Then in this one, um, just on top here, I have this little VTech elef elephant book singing thing. I recently got this out for him. I think it's supposed to be um, a year and up. But he's like interested in pressing buttons and stuff, so I got this one out for him recently. Um, I should add that toys that we have or we get that um, are too old for him, we do have a storage spot for those, which you guys will see in a minute. So that I pulled out of the storage spot. So in this next one is toys that you can like clip onto things. So the toys that have the little like rings that you can either put on these things so you can attach them to like the stroller or the car seat or um, we have like the ones that were hanging off of his like um, activity mat thing um, so we've kept all those he likes to play with these still and then we have like these little teethers and stuff and there's like this little cell phone there's all different kinds of things so I like these kind of ones that I can attach to his car seat and stroller so that he can't chuck them as we're like walking or in the car or whatnot Okay, so next is his little people stuff. So just in here, I have some of the like animals and people. Um, this little car came with the mat that we have here. This is like a little train that he got for Christmas. Um, he also has the barn, um, but obviously that won't fit in there, so we just keep that over here. Um, so once he gets more little people stuff, because I really love little people stuff, um, obviously we're going to try to keep all that all together. And then here we just have a Wiggles book, um, some more board books, and then this is just like a musical kind of thing. It's like a record player that he got for Christmas from the company that I work for. Um, so we just kind of keep that tucked in there. And then over here in this corner, this is honestly just all the miscellaneous toys that we have. So there's some more music things. He got this from Kenny's dad for Christmas. Um, this is also from Kenny's dad for Christmas. So he really likes like pressing buttons and music stuff. So he's really been enjoying those kind of things. This is a little boat that my mom got him for Easter. And then everything else is like completely random. So he has like some teething toys that he got at like the, um, his baby shower. This is a toy that attaches to his high chair. Like obviously Sophie the giraffe. There's these little balls that go with the toy that's over here you guys will see. This is like an old Xbox controller because he's like fascinated with our PlayStation controllers. So we tried to give him this as a decoy but he's way too smart for that. 
Um, and then there's some other toys in there. So I just kind of keep the miscellaneous stuff in there. And he knows how to pull all these little bins out now. So he kind of just pulls out whatever he wants. So then as for like his bigger toys, we kind of just keep those out so he can play with them. So here's like a Fisher Price little um, tray, like tractor truck thing that he can move around. This is this little like dinosaur jumping ball thing um, that you put the balls in there and this thing goes up and down and the balls jump around. Um, he has a Fisher Price walker that my parents just recently got him and then he also has this like VTech table. It still has like music and buttons again. He really likes music and buttons and stuff. So he loves this um, little play table thing. So yeah, that's his little um, toy corner and how we kind of organize everything over here. And then I'll show you guys next where we keep his toys that are like too big for him. Okay, so again, I'm sure that if you watch um, my cleaning videos, you've seen this piece of furniture. This is a, like, we use it as our TV stand. Um, it's just a piece of furniture that um, the company that my fiance works for gave to us and they gave it to us for free. So we're like, sweet, and we just painted it black so it matches our living room. Um, so inside it's really cool. It has these like cool drawers, um, which would normally be in like a kitchen cabinet. So in here I just keep the toys that are too big for him. So he has this, um, what is this? The Fisher Price Airport, spinning airport, something like that. My sister got him this for Christmas. Um, it's for a year and a half. So I've been pretty much bringing out toys like six months in advance to what they say, unless it's like a health hazard. Um, but he really likes the little people stuff. so. I'll probably be opening this in the next few months for him to try out. Um, and then down here is just a ball in case we want to play with a ball. And then this is the VTech GoGo Smart Wheel stuff. Um, I believe that the age group is fine for this, but it's like really like intensive to put together. And so right now he really doesn't understand that part of it. Obviously he just rips it apart as soon as I put it together. So we've just put it in this little tote and put it in here until we know he is gonna understand like us having to put together a track. Um, Cause as of right now, it's kind of just a waste to be trying to get him to play with it. He doesn't understand it. So yeah, that's where we put his toys that are too big for him and we'll probably continue to do that um, so that they are kind of locked up rather than putting them in the actual playroom for him to get to um, until we like cycle things out. So next I'll take you guys upstairs to his bedroom and I'll show you guys the rest of our organization up there. Okay, so now we're up in Colton's room. Here's Colton. Um, so he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't have much um, toys up in his room. We only keep a little bit in here just for pretty much when I'm like cleaning up here and stuff. So this is the Calyx 8 compartment um, organizer. This is mostly just used for his books, as you can see, but I do have like a little teddy bear there and a little dog there. I'm sure you guys have seen him rip these apart in my videos. So we do keep some toys in here. In here there's just some blocks, um, a couple little like soft footballs. This is like a little towel thing for the hockey team in our city. He has a couple like hockey pucks, just random things. This little woody that was my mom, like came from my mom's house. This little star that I used to take, um, that I used to use to take his monthly pictures. When you would turn it on, it would light up, and uh, he loved that. Now he's over it, but yeah. So there's just a few toys in there. This one's just blankets, and then in here I just have his stuffed animals. So I've kind of just stuffed them all in here. Um, I kind of want to get um, one of those those things called like those nets that you hang from the ceiling and put them all in there but for the meantime I just have them all kind of stuffed in this drawer and then this one is also just random stuff so like I said we don't have um, much toys in his room just because he doesn't really play up here he's still young so it's not like we're leaving him in his bedroom for long amounts of time or anything but yeah so that is our current toy organization setup there's Colton um, if you guys are new, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video and want to see more stuff like this, um, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.